The SFL regular season is just coming to a close, but a regular season for those looking to hear their name called on draft day is just beginning. Tonight, from the crossroads of the West, Salt Lake City, Utah, the Salt Lake City wrestlers take on the San Jose Flight in week one of SFL minor league action. Hello everybody, I'm Ethan Muslin alongside Brett Solberg. Brett, we've got a lot of new names to look at here today, and we're actually experiencing a rematch from last season's championship. Yeah, we see two teams that finished five and three in the season. Both had upsets in their semifinal matchup to get themselves to the finals. Ultimately, Salt Lake was the victor of the battle, twenty to thirteen. So for San Jose, or yeah, for San Jose, I should say, um, this is probably the slowest five months that they've ever experienced because they probably pinned week one right on the marker for them because they want to get this match revenge. Yeah, they are looking for some vengeance. Try to get them season off to a good start today. San Jose calling the toss here. It is tails, so the wrestlers will receive. So, so Salt Lake City will get the ball to start the first half. Should be a very exciting season here for SFLM. Eight games between nine teams. Best records will then move on to the playoffs, and we will see who is the top team in SFLM in just a few weeks' time. Ball is on the team now for Simon Wells. He's going to kick the ball away. And Salt Lake City will receive it. And we are underway in the Beehive State. Tackle made at about the 27-yard line as Grant Hickman made it out to for the kick return. And we're about to see the Salt Lake City offense for the first time today. And it's going to be led by a new quarterback this year. We're going to see ourselves Kenny Slider up on the mound this season for Salt Lake as he's looking to make himself an impression. As we already know, a couple spots in the SFL are going to be open in the offseason, a quarterback. Yeah, it's going to be a very, a very good idea to try to showcase your talents early on. Here we go. First down with Slider throwing down the middle. Wow. Great pass. Complete there to a sharp. And that is already a first down. Already up to the 48-yard line. What a throw. And that's probably the best option that you can find first off for Kenny Slider. He throws an absolute laser beam to A Sharp, who has probably one of the best hands coming into this SFLM season. Uh, a returnee as well. This will be his second season. Another wide receiver to look out for is going to be Lottie Lou on the other side there. On first and 10 here at the 48. Plenty of time here. Throws, wow. and it is caught. A sharp again with the reception takes it into San Jose territory. And let's talk about that offensive line for Salt Lake City as well. They just gave uh, Slider a bunch of time in the pocket to make his looks, his progressions through, and found Sharp again for another critical first down. First and ten at the San Jose 35 here in the pistol set. Slider's going to step. Has plenty of time in the pocket. Scrambled a little bit to the right side. Pass thrown and it's incomplete. Intended there for Hickman, but looks like he might have just been out of bounds there, so it'll be second down. It's a mixture of going out of bounds as well as probably bobbling the ball a little bit. He didn't get full uh, grasp of the football he was as he was uh, falling to the sidelines there. So uh, just uh, shake your feet off, shake your legs off, and try it again here on the second down. Be second down and 10. Looks like there's only showing six in the box here for San Jose. It might be a bit of a nickel set here for, for the flight. Shotgun set for Salt Lake City. They're going to have time here. Throws down the middle. Pass caught by Sharp. That'll get, be good for a gain of seven. Brought down on the play by number 56, Aaron Gooden for San Jose. Yeah, and I feel like this is going to be uh, what we're going to see a lot from Salt Lake this season is healthy doses of Ace Sharp up until Lottie Lou can maybe uh, learn a few things from Sharp as the season progresses. But early on, I think it's going to be uh, Ace Sharp's show here. Pistol set again here on third down. Slider's going to have a little time. Throws to the left. Oh, nearly intercepted. Taken, Almost taken in there by Jalen Young. Another one of those great defensive players you want to keep a lookout for in San Jose. Yeah, and it was almost an out-of-nowhere kind of uh, jump from Jalen Young as well. It almost seemed like he jumped from outside the screen to get to that uh, pass deflection there. And after uh, a big uh, start for Salt Lake, it kind of stagnates, and they're going to be forced to kick a field goal here. Jordan Bradshaw is going to have himself a 44-yard attempt here. Almost uh, just near the left side hash. 
a bit of a high snap. Kick on the way. And it is good. Makes itself through the uprights. And it's already 3-0 in favor of Salt Lake. Yeah, and it was a quick strike offense for uh, Salt Lake to get themselves going here. And we saw a lot of pass plays to start things off. We didn't see uh, any action from Logan Lee, one of the new running backs for Salt Lake here. And it resulted in three points for them in a very quick fashion. Yeah, good start there for Salt Lake. Gets the drive going, gets some points on the board. And now San Jose is going to have to answer for it. Bradshaw will kick the ball off. Decent sized kick here is going to be returned at the 10 yard line. Brought out to the 20, 25, and he'll be taken down at the 27 yard line. He's number 81 for San Jose. That was Marty Hampton making the return. And now we're going to see San Jose's offense for the first time. And we're going to be introduced to another new quarterback here in this SFLM league. And uh, number one, you see him right in the center of your screen right there. Five foot eleven of Jordan Sipe. This is going to be an exciting start to his uh, season right here. We'll see how the Rock rookie does here on first down at their zone 27. Bit of a low snap. Throws to the right side. Pass complete. Caught there by Anthony Delano. Going to get a gain of four on the play. Other uh, receivers you're going to want to keep an eye on for this San Jose team. you got Logan Strange, the other wide receiver, number 83. And then their tight end, DJ Bandit. The big, he's a big guy, 265. Going to be one to look out for. And in the backfield, you've got Josh Slap to help run things out. Second down and six in an eye formation here. Three wide receivers. Stifle throw down the middle, pass complete, and a good catch from Logan Strange. We were just talking about him earlier. Gets the first down for the flight. Yeah, and it's going to be the same kind of uh, chemistry that we're going to see from the two wide receivers in San Jose as, uh, as well as Salt Lake. They have one receiver that uh, has had SFLM experience before, along with one new receiver as well, and they're probably going to have to gain quick chemistry in this game here alone. Three back set for San Jose. First and 10 at their own 43. They will hand it off to Slap. He goes to the outside. He's brought down at the 46-yard line, taken down by number 31, Frankie Cooster of Salt Lake City. Other players on the defense to keep an eye on for in the Rustlers. Cornerbacks, Diedrich Law and Edwin Crow. And in the linebacking core, you got Golden Dino and Bogey Barr. Uh, also players you want to look out for as well. Second down and six. Again, going for the three-back set. They will hand it off again to Slap. Goes to the outside. And will get a gain of three yards as he's taken down in midfield. He was brought down there by Bogey Barr. Uh, and there was enough space for Josh Slap to get uh, him himself decent yards on the outside. But uh, a little bit of an issue from uh, one of the fullbacks there. It looked to be Chris Unders, number 32. Didn't get a block uh, for Slap, so it only caused a minimum gain from this uh, drive. Now a third and three. They're going to hand it off to Slap again. Goes down to the right side and gets the first down. Brings it inside Salt Lake territory. And again, that's Bogey Bar with the tackle. Yeah, and uh, you're going to see a healthy dose of Bogey Barr here as well. Uh, Barr is a definitely a last name that a lot of SFLM, uh, SFL and SFLM fans definitely know of. Yogi Barr is also in the big leagues here. It'll be interesting to see how Bogey does in his season with Salt Lake. Well, I think, I think everyone is hoping that Bogey Barr is up to par in this case. First and 10 for San Jose. Again, going into the three-back set. Slap in the backfield on the far side. And they will hand it off. He goes to the inside. And he'll get himself a gain of two. Brings it down to the 44-yard line. Yeah, they're just trying to shed a little bit of clock here and kind of just bruise their way with slap to kind of set the momentum on these uh, last couple set of downs as well as this one here. This time he kind of bruises his way to get to two yards. But uh, one thing here, it's just kind of tiring the, the defense a little bit here. Second down and eight. Fake the handoff. They're going to throw it, and it is slapped with the reception. He'll get himself another four yards there, and he'll be third and four. You know, I like how Sype is just giving himself enough time to kind of sling that rock down the field to get to his targets. We've only seen it twice so far in this game, but he's slowing himself down and making sure that uh, in his first game in San Jose uniform that he's just making the passes accurate into his receivers. 
Now on third and four, Sipe in the shotgun. Excuse me, he was under center. I saw someone else in the backfield there. <laughs> then the pass is caught by Anthony Delano. Pass will be good for a first down, brings it to the 22. And someone in the chat actually corrected me here. Delano actually played in season three as a tight end, uh, which is why I thought he was kind of uh, a first year guy in the first place because I didn't see him at wide receiver before. But he makes the move to wide receiver. And so far on this drive, he's, he's done pretty successful so far. Doing pretty good for himself so far, man. Already made himself a couple of good catches here. First and 10 at the 22. Sipe is in the shotgun this time. Has some time. Throws out to slap. Got a nice little screen pass there, and it'll be good for a gain of four. And again, it's just that patience from Sipe to see who he's got open. He finds the open guy in his last progression in slap. Gets a decent gain and now sets up a second and medium situation. I like what I'm seeing from Sipe so far. Yeah, he has been doing a great job here. And got to give credit to Josh Slap, too. Doing great jobs on both running and catching the ball. Second and six with Sipe in the shotgun. Four wide receivers with three bunch to the left. Going to throw down the middle. Dangerous throw there. Penalty markers down, but the catch was made. Looks like it might have been caught by DJ Bandit there. Let's see what the call is here. Might be a pass interference play. Very possibly, yes. And it is on the defense, and that is Bogey Barr with the penalty. Uh, shaking off a little bit of uh, first penalty woes there. Uh, and you just, uh, just unfortunate there. I think that was more of a 50 50 call. I don't think the flag needed to be thrown. Uh, the catch was made regardless on that, but it, it is what it is. You just got to shake it off and try to stop this next play here. Now on first and goal in a pro set, they will hand it off. And a nice uh, nice little run there. That was number 25. That's uh, the backup running back, Larry Hormel, making a gain of one. It'll bring up second and goal. I'm liking this balance so far from San Jose, uh, both running and passing, kind of getting a 50-50 split between these so far. Um, and just uh, getting uh, Sipe a little bit more uh, confident and getting uh, the nerves out of him early in this drive. Second down and goal. Sipe fakes the handoff. Going to screen it out to Slap. Slap goes to the left side, but he's going to lose a yard. He's brought down at the eight-yard line. Good tackle there. That was number 57, Golden Dino, making the stop. Yeah, and uh, Salt Lake has done pretty well on this goal line stand so far uh, with these two plays getting no gain on both of them. So one more stop for them, and they'll force San Jose to kick a field goal themselves here. Third down and goal. You got to figure you got to go for the touchdown here. Sipe in the shotgun. Going to throw down the middle. Pass is bobbled and dropped and incomplete. Oh, a couple of hands on there for both San Jose and Salt Lake, but nobody could come up with it. And San Jose is going to have to bring out the field goal unit. Yeah, and it had Delano and Bandit in there. And you also had, uh, I believe, uh, Diedrich Law in there uh, amongst uh, the crowd, too. So there was a whole, that whole smorgasbord of players kind of in that middle of the end zone. But nonetheless, great stop for Salt Lake. And they're going to force a kick from Simon Wells. Simon Wells will have a relatively good shot here. It's going to be a 24-yard kick uh, from the left hash. Good spot, kick on the way, and it is good. So with 3.24 to go in the first quarter, we are knotted up at three. Both teams doing very well in milking the clock and finding ways to stop uh, stop the air opponents from going into the end zone. And I think after these two drives here, you can kind of see the game plans for both teams here. San Jose is looking for more balanced approach, while Salt Lake in their first drive, it's been all pass. So we're going to have to see if they change this in the second in their second drive. Wells to kick the ball away. Salt Lake will get their second possession of the game. Ooh, nice nice little shift around there. But uh, Hickman will be taken down at the 30-yard line. And yeah, you're, I think you're absolutely right, Brett. Uh, Salt Lake has been very pass-heavy on this first drive. It's going to be... It's going to be interesting to see if they maintain that pass narrative or if they decide to maybe go to a more balanced approach or maybe kind of throw maybe throw them off and go for a run game. Yeah, like like I said in the last play here, we didn't or the last drive that we saw from Salt Lake, we didn't see any action from Logan Lee. So we're gonna have to see if he gets involved on this drive. Pistol set on first down for Slider. Steps back, gonna throw it. Throws to the left, and it is quickly caught and quickly tackled. Brought down was uh, Brad Clement, the backup tight. Uh, excuse me, the primary tight end. That's gonna be good for a gain of three. 
Yeah, and we've seen so far in this first quarter has been great protection from the offensive line for both quarterbacks here. Uh, and we see it again, Kenny Slider getting himself plenty of time to look uh, through his progressions in the pocket to find an open receiver. Offset eye formation with two wide to the right here on second down. They'll screen the pass out to the left side. Great run here by Logan Lee. And he got himself a first down and he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Yeah, and Logan Lee is going to be what we like to call one of the raw prospects in the league here. Um, he's He's got uh, incredible intangibles for such a young player, um, but it's going to take some time for him to develop. And one of these plays here will definitely get him on the map uh, as he gets a nice bit of space for that first down. Yeah, ev every bit of progression you can make as a player, whether it's making good catches or making good runs, that 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 always gets the eyes of the, of the boys upstairs in the big leagues. First and 10, throwing down to the right side, caught by Ludy Lou, and brought down at the 33-yard line there in San Jose territory. Yeah, don't mistake him for uh, actress Lucy Lou. Lottie Lou got himself uh, wide open on a nice uh, out route, a deep out route. That was a nine-yard out route that uh, gave him plenty of space on the sidelines to give himself a little bit of a turn and extra running space to get a first down and then some for Salt Lake. Great drive so far from both sides. They have uh, made made points in the first drives. Now we're going to see whether their second drive they can answer with another score. First and 10 for Slider in the shotgun. Two wide receivers to his right. Has some time in the pocket. Throws down to the left. Pass is caught, but immediately taken down in the backfield. That was 46. Torrey Perry couldn't get any yards there for a loss of two. Yeah, and it looked like this time Kenny Slider decided to throw a little bit of a changeup to uh, Perry there, uh, that which caused uh, San Jose defender to get to him pretty much right on the spot for the loss. Second down and 12. Slider again in the shotgun. That's a nice big set to his left, two receivers right. They're going to fake the handoff. Throws down to the left side. Pass is no, nearly caught, but it's incomplete. In and out of the hands of Brad Clement. No, it's a very uh, gutsy move there from Slider. Uh, he decides to go a little bit deep with that option, trying to find himself Brad Clement on the uh, on the corner, uh, left hand corner of the field, and it was just uh, bravely met by the secondary of San Jose to make that stop. Now on third and twelve, minute twenty six to go in the quarter. They're going to have to get to the 23-yard line to move the chains. Slider steps back and they hand it off to Logan Lee, but can't get anything going there. So bring up a fourth down at the 32, and I think we're going to have ourselves another field goal. Yeah, and uh, I think Jordan Bradshaw will definitely have the leg for it. He's probably got one of the most powerful legs among the new kickers in this league. There's only three kickers, uh, contracted kickers in this league, but they, no, we're going punt here. And you know what? That actually it makes a little bit of sense because we're looking at about a 49, 50 yard field goal. If you don't trust your field goal unit enough, go ahead and punt it away. And they will do so. And it's a great coffin kick pinned down at the four yard line. Great punt there by Frank Gussie. You know, that, you know what? That's you know a, a, probably a smarter decision instead. Even though uh, Jordan Bradshaw has the leg for it, and I would, and a, if you want to make a huge impact in the SFLM, you make a booming field goal. But this time they went with a more conservative route, and I think that was the better idea. And they pin San Jose all the way down to the four yard line. So uh, two thumbs up from the coaching staff. Yeah, it's going to pin them deep in their own territory here. First and ten at their own four. They're going to start off in a pro set. Going to hand it off. Usually dangerous when you're in back of your own end zone, but a great run there from Josh Slap. Going to get a gain of two. If you're new to the SFL, the Simulation Football League combines traditional sports, esports, and a role-playing game all into one. Team strategies are being executed in real time by our simulations as real-life players compete on the virtual gridiron. For more information about the SFL, visit our website at www.simulationfl.net. The SFL, we put the fan in fantasy. Second down on the offset. I, they're going to throw it. Wow. Oh, nearly intercepted. Brought down there by number 91. That was Zeus Howard making the deflection. Yeah, Zeus Howard coming from the, the heights of Mount Olympus to swat that ball down. Uh, an amazing uh play of recognition from him as well as he basically turned around and saw that ball flying and he swatted the ball down like it was just a, a, a common a house pest. 
Now on third and two, two wide receivers. They've got Lee in the backfield. They will hand it off to Lee. He goes to the left side, but cannot get anything going. Not going to get any gain there, and it's going to be fourth down. And I think this will probably be the final play of the first quarter. Yeah, and it looks to be as the clock keeps ticking, but uh, great stop by Salt Lake to kind of halt anything going from this San Jose drive. That's the end of one with 11 down and 33 to go. It's San Jose 3, Salt Lake City 3. This is the SFL Minor League on YouTube. Back with you now to start the second quarter. Ethan Muslin and uh, Brett Solberg here. Going to be punting the ball away here for San Jose on fourth down. They are going to be pinned in their own end zone here. Going to kick the ball away. Caught at. It's going to bring it down to the 45-40. It's taken down at the 39-yard line. Great return by Grant Hickman. Yeah, and Hickman's got uh, his fast feet uh, as well, getting a couple spin moves in there as well. Very much uh, Robert Redford esque with his uh, with his spin moves, uh, and there's no better there's no better person to look at spin moves more than Robert Redford. So Salt Lake City holding San Jose to no points on their second possession. Now we'll see how they handle this one. First and ten on the San Jose thirty nine. Slider going to throw down the middle. Pass caught. Great catch there from the fullback. Not, excuse me. No, that's the tight end, Tory Perry. My mistake. And that will bring it down to the 21 and a first down. A very nice placement of the football from Slider to basically uh, just hurl it over the defender there. That's 54 that just couldn't get his hands on it. That's Phil Delphi that just couldn't get a, a reach on that football and just a well-placed throw from Slider. Now brings it down to the 21 with a new set of downs for the Rustlers. Slider changing the play a little bit here. He's got Lee in the backfield and two wide receivers. Hands it off to Lee. Wide open space wow. on the left side and gets the first down and brings it inside the 10. It'll be first and goal to go for Salt Lake. A nice, well-thought-out stretch play from the Salt Lake City offense there. Logan Lee getting himself plenty of space from his blockers uh, and just getting that nice spin move. You'll see it right here. Whoop! Right there to get himself a few extra yards and pass the first down line. And now Salt Lake City's uh, in a first-and-goal situation. And it's all uh, motions going for the Rustlers. 27 feet from Paydirt is Salt Lake City. First and goal at the nine. Three wide receivers. Lee in the backfield. Slider will step back. Has some time. Screens it out to Lee on the left side. Going to get back to the line of scrimmage, but can't get any further. No gain on the play. Looks like that was that was Troy Kent there making the tackle. Yeah, and San Jose is going to have to this, do the same thing that uh, the Salt Lake defense did to San Jose when they were in a goal line situation, and that's basically stopped Salt Lake's offense from getting any further at this point. So far, one down, two more to go. Second down with three wide receivers. Sal Leiter in the shotgun, hands it off to Lee, who crosses to the right side, and what? he's in the oh. end zone! Touchdown, Rustlers! And that's very much just following your blockers more than anything else. Mostly in that in that specific shotgun position, we more so see maybe a play action or a throw out of this. Very rarely do you see a run out of shotgun. And Lee just followed his blockers to the end zone. Well-timed, well, like very patient as well, which now gets Salt Lake on the board with a touchdown this time instead of a field goal and giving them the slight edge. That was a great nine-yard run there from Logan Lee going on the cross route to get himself into the end zone. Extra point coming up for Jordan Bradshaw to put this to a seven-point lead. Kick is up, and it is good. We've got 9.14 to go in the half, and it's currently Salt Lake City 10, San Jose 3. And right now, Salt Lake's uh, quick fire uh, scheme is working very well for them as they now have two drives out of their uh, four that have resulted in points. So you'll take 50% on any day. Absolutely. Now going to the kickoff here for Jordan Bradshaw. Kick is away. Be received at about the seven. 
And bring it out to the 20, 25, and brought down at the 27-yard line is Marty Hampton. Are you a next-level SFL fan? Visit the SFL League website at simulationfl.net for information on how to create a player and to join our community. You can check out League Leaders as well. We've got stats from all 17 seasons of SFL action, so you can track game, season, and career numbers from all the players over time who have gone from couch to field. The Simulation Football League, 17 seasons strong. First and 10 for San Jose in the shotgun set. Sype throws over to the left side. Pass is caught in a little bit of coverage, but a great catch there by Vern Zales to make the catch and gets a gain of eight. Yeah, Zales just uh, giving himself uh, enough space to get himself open for Sype to throw a nice uh Nice pass just to the sideline there. And a good start to the drive is to get that out route pass and get yourself eight yards. So uh, pretty successful so far on this San Jose drive. Good start so far. They're up to the 34-yard line with second and two to go. Sype will be behind center. Slap in the backfield. Two wide receivers to the left. They will hand it off to Slap, but Slap is caught behind the line and taken down for a loss of one. Good stop there, friend. That was Zeus Howard again making the stop. Yeah, and uh, that's what you need to do here when uh, San Jose starts to get going on their offense is get them to stop pretty quick, and uh, Zeus Howard did a great job to stop them right at the, right at the tracks. Now going to go with third and three. Looks like they're in the same set here. Slap in the back, two to the left. Sight behind center. Pressure coming in on the line from Salt Lake. And they will stop Slap in the backfield. Brings it down for another loss. That's a loss of two. And San Jose is going to have to punt. Yeah, and it's two great stops to stop uh, Slap, which had we, who he had a very uh, good first quarter to start things off. And it looks like they're starting to key on him a little bit more as we get into this uh, second quarter. And now it's resulting in another punt for the flight. Frank Gussie now to punt the ball away. Bit of a low snap here, but he's going to kick it off. Pass, and that'll be returned at the 34. And brought down to 37 for a return of three. Salt Lake City will now get the ball in some, in some pretty decent territory right now. Yeah, you'll take a, a 37 uh, on your own 37-yard line and kind of go 65 yards from here on out to get to the end zone. Uh, I'd say that's per like ideal uh, field position if you're not in enemy territory. First and 10 for Salt Lake. Three wide receivers in the shotgun. Only about six in the box for Salt Lake. Slider throws. Dangerous throw, but the catch is made. Caught at the 49-yard line. Wow, what a reception there for May Sharp. Yeah, and it looks to me that uh, the difference between the two quarterbacks right now is that Kenny Slider is looking to make those more risky throws and just try to go for uh, try to go for broke on a lot of these passes. And so far, they're connecting. Uh, and it, it, that's, like I said, it's been this uh, separation between the two. First and ten from Salt Lake Zone, forty-nine. They've got three bunch to the right side. Slider steps back, screens out to Lee on the left side. Good catch. Tried to spin out of the way, but couldn't get it. And gets taken down at the 47 for a gain of five. Aaron Gooden there making the tackle. And yeah, nice job from uh, the tackle there. 66, that's Joe Helms on the left side that uh, got a nice block for uh, Logan Lee to get himself an extra couple yards instead of getting stuffed right at the line of scrimmage. Second and five. They'll hand it off to Lee. Lee gets the first down and just barely does. He'll be taken down at the 41-yard line. Yeah, and uh, again, the offensive line is really stepping up on these last couple plays here. This time, the, the left guard, Kenneth Clamp, gets himself a little bit ahead of the play, getting to the second line, uh, getting to the corners there to give Lee once again a couple extra yards to get that first down. They'll bring it to the San Jose 41, first and 10. Two wide receivers with Lee in the backfield. Slider under center, snaps it, hands it off to Lee, and he goes to the left side and gets a gain of two. It'll be a moderate gain there for second and eight. A nice pursuit from Aaron Gooden. Knowing that uh, the stretch play was going to happen, he definitely get to, got to a spot right away to stop Lee from getting a, a, a huge gain. Because if it wasn't if it wasn't him going to be tackling, Lee would have had a lot of uh, open ground. Offset eye on second down. They hand it off again to Lee, but he stopped in the back. 
taken down for a loss of, well, it looks like they're going to call him no gain, but a good stop there from Phil Delphi. Yeah, and Phil Delphi as well as uh, Matthew Guster on, on the tackle as well to stop Logan Lee once again and force a third and eight situation for Salt Lake in which this drive has been pretty successful for them so far. They don't want it to stagnate. Yeah, they got to get to the 31-yard line to move the chains here. Third and eight with four wide, but they hand it off to wow. Lee, and he's caught in the back for a loss of four. Oh, what a great tackle from Aaron Gooden. Yeah, it's just excellent pursuit from Aaron Gooden as well. Once once that snap came off, he was already on it. He was already on an offensive lineman and got past him within milliseconds to get to Lee once again, getting him a four yard loss on that. And now it's a punt. Does he the punt? The oh, ball. It got blocked. But it will be bouncing back. Is it going to go in the end zone? No, oh, it will not. Oh, wow. Great punt there from Gussie to pin it down at the one. You want to talk about a lucky bounce there. It, it, it had all the looks of it heading to the end zone, but just the angle of the football on that second bounce makes it stop at the one, and that's probably the worst-case scenario for San Jose to start their drive. San Jose pinned at their own one. First and ten with an eye formation. This looks pretty risky. Let's see if it pays off. They will hand it off. They break through. They don't get the safety. Good to run there from slap to get a gain of five. Takes it out to the six and a little more breathing room. Yeah, and the big key for any offensive line when you're basically f like uh, inches away from your old goal line is just to push as much gap as possible, whether it be left or right on the side to give your running back enough space. They went with the left side and it was a good guess because they got a couple yards out of it. Now second down and five again going in the eye formation. Slap goes to the right side, gets the first down and moves the chains. Going to be taken down at the 14-yard line. Great couple of runs there from Slab to get them outside of the shadow of their own end zone. And it's an, it was a nice decision to go stretch on the right side for San Jose because they went left on the first one, and this time they went with the opposite direction, and Slap had a bunch of space on that side to get that first down. He pushed for another yard or two extra, so he's showcasing a little bit of his strength as well. Yeah, doing a great job pushing for those extra yards, trying to get trying to get him down the field. First and 10 at the 14. Sype going to throw to the left side. Good catch there from Slap. And it's going to be taken down at the 18 for a gain of four. Tackled there by number 25 of Salt Lake. That's Blake Sun Simmons. And you know, on my pregame notes, I actually listed Josh Slap as a one-way back, and I thought he would maybe just be a primarily just run it off the ground kind of running back but uh throughout this first half we've seen a lot of uh screen passes his way second down and six they run it up the middle with slap but he only gets about a gain of two brought down by san jose it looks it looks like it was a couple of san jose wrestlers there i couldn't quite id them real quick yeah i didn't i didn't get all of them either there and it looks like they're showcasing uh bogey bar so we'll credit we'll credit half a tackle on him uh for that one he at the very least did half the work and that's good enough for most of us third and four <laughs> for salt for uh san jose sipes gonna step back throws down the middle pass nearly intercepted but looked like it might have been more overthrown than anything else and that was uh julius arnold there to help uh deflect the pass away well, let's talk about nerves of steel from Sype as well, because he had basically two defenders breathing down his neck, and he still threw it like there was nobody around him. So he's showing he's showing that he has a lot of nerves and a lot of composure here in this first game. Aaron Lynn to punt the ball away here for San Jose. It's a good high kick, going to be returned at about the 42 and brought down at the 45-yard line. Yeah, Grant Hickman couldn't really get do much there, but he gets a gain of three. The SFLM is underway, and the season continues with four games in week two next Thursday, October 21st. You can watch every single SFL minor league game in, on the SFL's YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to receive updates. We've already hit 4,000, so let's help the league get to 5,000 subscribers during the SFLM sports season. The SFL Minor League, where football dreams begin. First and 10 for Salt Lake City. Then the offset eye. They're going to hand it off. A good little Look run on the, the left space. side. He's got run now and brought down at the 34-yard line. Great run by Logan Lee. 
I swear that was the Grand Canyon on that left side. There's so much space for Logan Lee to run that football and run he did as he found that open space and got a very, very nice gain out of it. As you can see, after that, after that defender, there was nobody around Logan Lee for a good second or two. So he just tried to use his speed and get downfield as quickly as possible. Yeah, he, he tried to get off to the races on that one. Unfortunately, just could not get anything going there. But he gets the first down, and now they are inside San Jose territory at the 34. Slider on first and 10. Going to throw down to the right side. Good catch there by Logan Lee. Tried to spin inside, but couldn't get anything going. We are down to the two-minute warning. Salt Lake City at the, at the San Jose 30. Looking to see if they can make themselves an impact on this final, what will probably be the final drive of the first half for Salt Lake. And they're they're pretty they're pretty much in field goal range at this point because again I'm still gonna trust on that leg of Jordan Bradshaw but we're gonna see if they can get any closer to the end zone. Second down and six, three bunch to the right side. Slider gonna hand it off to Lee, but caught in the backfield and brought down. Looks like that was that was number ninety one. That was Walter Reed making the stop. Yeah, and Salt Lake decided to go with a draw play here to see if they can kind of misdirect the defense, but uh, that line was just pretty much ready to pursue anyone who had the football at that point, and, and like you said, Walter Reed getting right to Logan Lee. Third and ten, three bunch to the right side. Slider again, going to hand it off to Lee, and again, he's brought down the backfield. Oh my, what a stop there. That was Phil Delphi making the stop, and now it looks they might have pushed them out of field goal range. Yeah, it looks like, because that's going to end up being a 50-yarder if they try to uh, kick it from there. But again, they went with that draw play that just didn't work things out. But they're going to go for it this time. All right. This should be pretty interesting to see. Jordan Bradshaw from what looks like will be 51 yards to give Salt Lake a 10-point lead. They're going to let the clock tick down here. Play clock to five. Smart idea. Here's the snap. Kick is on the way. Does it have enough? No, it's short. Oh, I thought he had the leg for it, but he just didn't have enough yards on it. And now San Jose will get the ball back. You know what? I don't fault Salt Lake or Jordan Bradshaw for going for it because look how close that ended up being. I would say that's, that was probably maybe a half yard short at best. Just a, a, a very... Great idea. It just didn't pay off for them. But now San Jose has 47 seconds to trot down the field. First and 10 for San Jose on the shotgun set for Sipe with three bunch to the right side. Sipe steps back, throws. Oh, oh. nearly intercepted. Oh, nearly picked off by Golden Dino. But it will be an incomplete pass, and that stops the clock with 44 to go. And I don't think Dino had to move too much uh, to get to that ball, essentially. He, he was already right at the spot. Uh, Sype did a, a good idea to try to th uh, throw the football down to DJ Bandit. But like I said, Dino was just basically at the spot to swat the ball down. Yeah, that was a, that was a right place, right time sort of situation for Salt Lake City. And now San Jose will have second and ten. Hoping, hoping the second verse doesn't same as the first here. Two wide receivers with slap in the backfield. They will hand it off to slap. Goes to the left side. Going to get a gain of six. And that will uh, give San Jose their first timeout. And you know what? It's not a bad idea because Slap has had uh, a pretty good uh, couple of runs throughout this first half to get himself nice open space. This time they get this, they get six yards, and now it's just a third and four situation. But I like to see uh, Sipe throw it deep here, see how uh, see how his arm fares out. Yeah, maybe a throw about to the Salt Lake forty might not be a bad idea here. Third and four, Sipe going to step back with three wide throws to the right side, batted away and incomplete. Great stop from Diedrich Law to prevent the completion, and now fourth down for San Jose. Yeah, and again, it's just right spot, right time for Diedrich Law this time, and he jumps he jumps with his uh, basketball-esque legs there to swat the ball away and forces a fourth, fourth down from Salt Lake City to punt the ball away, and, and or San Jose, I should say, and now Salt Lake will have uh, a small chance here to maybe get some points uh, to end the second half. Linda will punt the ball away. He's standing on his own 31. 
Kick is away. Hickman back to return it. Going to take it at about the 16. Going to get some room. Oh, <laughs> nearly had a good sprint, but taken down at the 27-yard line. There's 25 seconds left to go in the first half. I, I would have to suspect the Salt Lake will probably just want to take the lead going into the half. Well, we've, we've seen some gutsy calls from SFL teams uh, this season by going with long runs to the end zone as well as deep passes. So it's not out of the horizon to maybe see uh, Slider kind of throw it deep here. He is under center with an eye formation and three wide here on first down. Slider stepping back, going to throw a deep ball down the middle. Oh, this is oh, not oh, intercepted! Oh. Deflected off and intercepted by San Jose. Oh, my goodness. It fell out of the hands of A. Sharp and into the hands of the defender. It was a perfectly thrown ball by Kenny Slider as well. It just happened to doink off the hands of A. Sharp and just a gift basket to the, to the man there. Jalen Young gets himself a very interesting first interception. And now San Jose again has the football back with 15 seconds left in this first half. Suddenly a fantastic turn of events for San Jose. They'll have themselves probably about two to three plays to get themselves to the end zone. First and 10 at the San Jose 42. Three bunch to the right. Sipe under shotgun. Throws down the middle. Pass complete. And he'll get the first down and they're going to go for a no huddle here with eight they're, seconds. They're going to have to spike it if they want something or even one play here. They will run the play. No, they will call timeout. Looks like they could not get the play ready in time and they're going to have three ticks to go. Yeah, I think that's a smart idea. Um, they're at the enemy 47 here. I think that's uh, enough arm for Jordan Sype to uh, try to throw a Hail Mary on this situation to possibly try to tie this game up before the end of the half. Uh, not a bad idea uh, to stop the clock here. Yeah, and that was uh, DJ Bandit, by the way, making that reception uh, that led to this first down. So they're on the Salt Lake 47. They're going to have four bunched up to the right side. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a Hail Mary play. Only three on the line for Salt Lake City. They're going to rush four. Oh, and it's a sack! Oh, what a what a horrific way to end the half. As it's Zeus, as it's, excuse me, Julius Arnold making the sack. And San Jose will not get anything on that final drive as we head to the half. Yeah, and it's what, uh, just to end off that play there, you, you got to give... Uh your quarterback enough time to throw that ball down the field and it was just not enough for um for jordan Sype to get it down the field but now we end the half at 10 to 3 and i think the tail of the tape here is that um it's just been a lot of quick scoring from uh salt lake city to get themselves ahead in this game for as much as san jose is uh, keeping that football and trying to uh control the clock game uh it just hasn't worked out for them so far only getting three points out of this but it's still the first week there's still a lot of rust to take off for the veteran players and a lot of nerves from the new players on both teams to just kind of get themselves going here so maybe the second half will be a little bit more uh, of a flashy show but so far the defenses have definitely been stepping up on both sides they have been and it's been and it's been a real good battle in terms of times of possession both teams have been relatively equal but san jose has the edge in terms of time of possession that has been a good factor in this and yeah you can see the uh, see the touchdown run here from logan lee but at the same time san jose has had plenty of opportunities to try and score and try to get themselves into the end zone but they just haven't had anything going so it still could theoretically happen here in the second half things just got to get together things got to click right and you're and you're absolutely right just got to shake off the rust shake off those nerves once you get out of the tunnel here for the second half it should be still anybody's ball game and oh my goodness that that deflecting interception from for, for Jalen was that might be the highlight of the game so far yeah and going back to the task here uh, another thing that San Jose needs to do to get themselves back in this game and even ahead is they need to stop getting into deep uh, starting drives because we've seen a lot of situations, I believe twice in this game already, that they've been inside their own 10-yard line. So they need to step it up to get themselves in a better field position as well to start drives. And in fact, that was actually closer to being inside their own five. Uh, Salt Lake now to kick it off to start the second half. Ball will be returned by Marty Hampton, and he brings it down to the 27-yard line. So San Jose will have the ball to start the second half. We'll see if they can, in, I would say, probably at least get some points on the board, at least narrow the gap. 
yeah, this this goal to start off the second half is just to just to score points. That's that's really what you, what you want to start things off with and kind of get that offense going just to say, hey, we've been driving down the field, but we haven't got any points yet. So they need to get some points on this drive. First and 10 for Sipe out of the, uh, out of center. He will get the catch for Delano. Brought down to the 31 for a gain of four. Nice pass there to the left side. Yeah, and again, it's that patience from Sipe to uh, find his open receivers, and Delano gets himself uh, enough space for a throw to uh, go his way, and a nice four-yard gain starts this drive off for San Jose. And again, San Jose being starting to be very meticulous here. They were they were very good in the time of possession for the first half. We'll see if they can do it again here in the second. Pro set on second down. Sipe going to step back, throws down to the left. Pass is complete. And Logan Strange gets the first down as they uh, move up to the 46-yard line. It's a nice uh, deep throw from Sype as well. The first one that we've seen in a little while uh, ended up being a very deep out. It's a 15-yard out route for Logan Strange, and he just gave himself enough space to get in front of what looked to be Ed Edwin Crow, uh, his complimentary uh, cornerback on, on the coverage, uh, and get a nice catch for the first down. First and 10 for the flight. They've got three wide receivers in the shotgun from their own 46. Slap to the left of Sipe. Sipe takes the snap, throws to the left. Oh, pass is caught, but it's out of bounds, so it will not count. It'll be incomplete. Strange had the ball, but he just had his foot on the stripe. Yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'll give uh, the blame on that one to Sipe and just not throwing a fast enough football to Logan Strange. The out route was a good idea. It was a, it was a medium uh, four-yard out route to get himself to the sidelines where uh, Salt Lake was playing a little bit deeper, but he kind of threw a, a little bit of a duck too strange instead of trying to zip it to him. Second down and 10. They are in that same set. Three wide, one to the left. Oh, they will hand it off. They will hand it off to Slap, and he's going to get himself a gain of one. And that, uh, that was a good pro set run there, so it'll be third and nine. Yeah, a big bunch of uh, Salt Lake defenders kind of in the way for Josh Slap. So he was trying to uh, juke and jive his way around, and he just could only get one yard out of that. Third down and nine, Sipe in the shotgun. Three bunch to the right, one to the left. Five in the box for Salt Lake. Sipe throws to the right, pass complete. It's going to be stopped short of the first down. Vern Zales made the catch, but he's going to be six feet short. It'll be fourth down. Yeah, that's exactly it. It was it was a good idea to have all the receivers on the on the right side of the field to kind of misdirect uh, the secondary, but uh, decides to throw short a little bit here, and we're seeing a fourth down action possibly from San Jose. It's going to be fourth down and two. They got six feet to do it in the pro set. They might do this, or they might be going for the jump. There's ten seconds left on the play clock. Yeah, I think they are going for the jump here. Play clock down to five, down to four, three. They're going to call a timeout. Uh, and to be honest with you, I don't like that idea uh, coming from San Jose. You're down seven here. You don't know how the rest of this game is going to fare out. When you're a team that's down, uh, timeouts are precious in this game, and you're calling one uh, two minutes into this third quarter. That might come uh, to bite you if you're still down once you get into uh, uh, gut check time in this fourth quarter. Yeah, you do need all, all of your timeouts, especially when you're down uh, in this sort of game. When you're down... You know, seven or ten points. You've got to have as much opportunity to stop the clock as you can. But it will be a punt for Aaron Lind. He'll be standing in his own 39 to kick this ball away. Grant Hickman back to return it for the Rustlers. And he's going to let that thing bounce. And mm -hmm. it will bounce into the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, it was just that second bounce went a little bit too far, and it was just angled basically to the direction of the end zone as you saw that football kind of land a little bit. So uh, Salt Lake starting in their uh, in their own twenty yard line instead of uh, a possible um, disastrous start for their second half. So we're gonna have to see what Slider and company have in store. First and ten on the offset eye. Looks like they got two tight end set. They'll hand it off to Lee. Lee goes up the middle, and he'll be taken down at the 26 for a gain of six. For the first time in nearly three years, the SFL will broadcast playoff games on its own networks, and for the first time will offer simulcasts of the playoff games on all SFL platforms, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch. 
Check out the two wild card matchups Saturday, October 16th at 1 Eastern and Sunday, October 17th at 6 Eastern on all platforms. And stay tuned for official team and commentator pairings. Second and four. They hand that ball off again to Lee, but didn't get anything going there, so it'll be no gain. Third and four for the wrestlers. A nice tackle once again from Phil Delphi, who's been very much involved in this defense for San Jose and making key stops to kind of halt Salt Lake from getting any, any further into the lead. Uh, but this is a big third down for San Jose defense. Third down and four. They've got six on the line for San Jose, and they anticipate the run well. And Lee only gets down to the 29. It'll be a gain of three, but fourth down coming up, and the wrestlers will have to punt. And Jeremy Toombs coming from behind to kind of swarm uh, Logan Lee there to stop him behind the first down marker. And now Salt Lake will punt the football back and, and possibly for the first time in a while give San Jose good field position to start off this drive. Frank Gussie standing at about his own 14, punts the ball away. It'll be Marty Hampton returning it, and he'll to be taken down at the 39-yard line. Good, a pretty good punt there from going back near your own end zone, Ben, and setting up for some pretty decent field position. That could have gone a lot worse for Salt Lake. Yeah, I think that was about a 35 to 40 yard punt there. So uh, a nice kick from Gussie to, uh, to to try to pin it as deep as possible for Salt Lake, or not for San Jose. I keep mixing those teams up. I swear I'm going to get better by this fourth quarter. We'll all get better, I'm sure. Pro set here on first down. They're going to hand it off. Josh Slap gets a gain of one on the left side, and he's brought down by Bogey Barr. Yeah, and Bogey Barr has also been involved pretty heavily for Salt Lake here. We've seen him, I think this is either his fifth or sixth tackle of this game already, uh, kind of leading the way for the Salt Lake defense, and we're going to see a lot of him this season, so uh, offenses beware. Second and nine. San Jose with three wide in the shotgun. Sipe takes the snap. Going to throw down the middle. Dangerously thrown. Oh. Off out of the hands of two rustlers, and it falls to the ground incomplete. We see ourselves. Zach Reynolds was the first guy to get uh, the jump on that ball, almost getting himself an interception to kind of sh try to shift the momentum back their way. Um, but nonetheless, it's an incomplete pass, and now it's third and nine for the flight. Third down in the shotgun. They've got four wide receivers, three bunched to the right side. Sipe will have some time. Throws down the middle. Passes! Oh! No! It was almost intercepted by Golden Dino, but he couldn't keep the hand on it. It'll be fourth down. It's once again Golden Dino just uh, planting his feet and trying to grab the football and again just kind of bobbles to the ground. Just very unfortunate. Dino could have possibly had two interceptions in this game and they both fall to the ground. Now San Jose, and in um, uh, a, not a successful drive for them as they're basically punting the football back in as little time. Yeah, that was a very quick three and out there for San Jose. Lind will be back to punt it away. Hickman to return it. He'll take it at about the 20. And brought down almost immediately, taken down at the 22-yard line. The, you got to give credit to, to Salt Lake City, though. They had a great three and out there against San Jose, and now they have a chance to possibly extend their lead. Yeah, and it's, it, the defense has played big, especially in these uh, last, I would say, four or five drives from San Jose to kind of uh, stop any momentum from... Um, coming their way so great job by the defense slider changing up the play here on first and 10 from their own 22 they've got two wide to the right side they'll hand it off to lee lee gets to the left and gets some room can't push any further though and he'll be taken down at the 28 for a gain of five and i think kenny slider the initial play there was to go deep but he saw uh the corners um kind of sagging off and expecting deep so he changed the play to get just a quick run from logan lee so nice job to audible that play and kind of change it up to get a five yard gain that'll bring up second and five on an offset eye formation looks like sharp is on the left side but they will hand it off to lee Lee gets caught in the backfield again, and that's going to be another loss of two. That has been a bit of an issue here for Logan Lee on his runs. 
Yeah, and uh, they might have to stop uh, going on those uh, second and medium uh, runs for Logan Lee because uh, the outside linebackers have just been playing them very well. Jeremy Toombs, once again, gets to him as well as uh, interior Philadelphia has been a little bit involved in this uh, second half as well. Pistol set on third and six. Slider throws to the left side. Pass complete to Sharp, but he's going to be short of the first down. Uh, goes out of bounds at the 30-yard line, and that'll be another three and out for Salt Lake City. Yeah, now we're starting to see the defenses step up a little bit here and kind of kind of go with the stalemate action on both sides of the football. And now it's just going to be who's going to who's going to strike uh, out of this uh, out of the opposing defenses and get some points for their respective teams. We don't know yet. Salt Lake City back to punt. Frank Gussie going to kick the ball away. Again, nearly got blocked and nearly got ran into as well. And taken down immediately is Marty Hampton. He'll be uh, he'll be setting up San Jose at their own 34-yard line. Coverage of the SFL's 17th postseason begins tomorrow, October 16th, on Next Level Sports at 4 p.m. Eastern with the London Knights playing in their first playoff game in franchise history as they travel to Arizona to take on the Scorpions. To find Next Level Sports channels on your devices, visit itsnextlevel.com and ftfnext.com so you don't miss a minute of the action. First and 10 for San Jose. They're going to screen it out to the right side. Good catch there by Slap. He'll take it to the 36 for a gain of two. Yeah, nice throw to lead Slap as well so that uh, even if he caught that football, there's two defenders uh, getting to Slap pretty much right away there. So I ended up uh, turning a, a negative play into uh, a net gain of two yards out of that. So good job by leading the football on that pass. Second and eight. San Jose in an eye formation on the right hash. Sipe under center. He will hand the ball off to Slap. He goes to the left side, gets some room, and is brought down at the 41. Got another good game there for a gain of five. Yeah, and I think he would have gotten the first down as well, but he was kind of looking to truck a defender uh, in his way. Just didn't meet him, and Blake Simmons, the, the free safety, managed to get to him to stop uh, him right on his tracks, and now sets up a third and short situation for San Jose. San Jose's got an eye formation and three wide receivers. They're going to go for the pass here. Sipe going to throw to the left side. Pass complete. Caught by DJ <laughs> Bandit. He's got the first down. Taken out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Yeah, it was a stumbling first down as well because it almost looked like DJ Bandit was going to head back to the other side of that first down line, but he managed to stay, to stay uh, uh, enough to just get to that line and get that first down just to move the chains for San Jose, which is crucial for them right now. First and 10 for the flight. Sipe under center, two wide to the left. Slap in the backfield. Sipe's going to step back under pressure and he's oh. brought down. Taken down for us. Looks like that might be the first sack of the game and he's brought down by Justin Roberts. That's exactly it. The offensive lines have done a fantastic job in protecting their quarterback so far, but just uh, an in unsuccessful block from 65. Uh, that is going to be Sherman, Illinois, that just couldn't get his hands on Justin Roberts to stop him from getting that sack. Well, he did He did have his hands on him, but just Justin Roberts was able to just kind of maneuver around, get his hands on Sipe and take him down. Second and 16. Pass caught there from Delano. We'll bring it back to the original line of scrimmage. It'll be third down. Yeah, not a bad idea just to get uh, a positive gain out of this, get back to the original line, and kind of just reset their minds to get this third and long situation. Um, but it's a big one here. They need to get this first down if they want to score some points, I think. It'll be third down and 10 from San Jose's 44. they got to get to the 46 of Salt Lake City to move the chains. Sipe in the shotgun. He's got three wide to the right. Going to have some time. Throws down the middle. Pass nice. complete. And a great first down there for DJ Bandit. Gets it to the 45 of the wrestlers. Yeah, and a couple receivers were open as well. I think I saw Anthony Delano once again getting himself enough space to get open. But uh, uh, Sipe this time goes with DJ Bandit, who has been pretty reliable on getting key first downs, uh, especially in this drive. We've seen it already uh, here. So that's the second first down on this drive. Three wide in the shotgun for first down. Sipe throws to the right side. Pass complete to Delano. And again, he gets out of bounds. Stops the clock with 2.31 to go, and they get to the 41-yard line of Salt Lake for a gain of four. And one thing we haven't talked about in this game so far is how well uh, 
Jordan Seip has kind of spread the football around. Um, we've seen a lot of uh, healthy doses of uh, all the key uh, receivers, uh, including DJ Bandit. Um, so he's done a great job by spreading the wealth. Going to have an eye formation with three wide here on second and six. Seip under center. Throws to the right side. Good catch there from Delano. Going to be short of the first down, but he gets a good gain. It'll be third and two. And a nice job to twinkle toes, uh, his uh, feet to the sideline there to maintain uh, inbounds uh, for that catch and still get a gain out of it. And now with third and two here, I think a first down is necessary because uh, the kick might be too far for San Jose. Yeah, it looks like they've got a pro set here on third and two. Not going to hand it off. Going to float one down the middle. Oh. Pass deflected and incomplete. Great job on the deflection. Listen, I think that was Edwin Crow making the deflection. And I think that was two there, and that was kind of like just a last desperation um, f flinging of the arm there, kind of like uh, what you see uh, sometimes uh, in the playgrounds from one of the young kids there just to get uh, anything any part of his body with the football. He managed to get a couple uh, a couple fingers to swat that ball down. Lind is going to punt the ball away. He's standing on his own 48. Looks like he's going to try to go for a coffin kick. Try to pin the rustlers down deep inside their own territory. It's going to be a good bounce and a great stop there. Going to take it down to the Salt Lake 6. Great punt there from Aaron Lind. That's 94 yards for Salt Lake to trot down the field and try to score any points. So this is uh, a very good scenario for San Jose to try to get back in this game. Even though this drive was unsuccessful and not getting any points out of it, they're still pinning Salt Lake deep in this second half. So you got to take some positives out of some minor negatives uh, in this half. And the one thing I would probably take note is Alan Lucas kind of took the ball a little bit too early because that still would have gotten down inside the five. First and 10 for Salt Lake. They're going to hand it off to Lee and take him down at the 12. Good for a gain of six. Gives himself a little breathing room. Yeah, and Buster Johnson did a great job in stopping that play right on his tracks because Logan Lee had a ton of space down the middle of that field. That possibly could have been a 15-yard gain if Johnson didn't get to him. So nice job stopping him for only six. Second and four in the offset eye. Slider under center. Steps back, throws to the right side, pass is complete. Good catch. Oh, and it gets the first down. Great job there by Fred Willows. Yeah, and that was just a nice little swing pass to Willows with all the receivers going down on the opposite side to leave that right side open for Willows to just get enough uh, of a running space to get that first down. And that's what Salt Lake just wants at this point, just to continue getting first downs. Less than a minute to go in the third quarter here. Slider on first and 10 from the shotgun. Throws to the left. Good catch there from Ace Sharp. Going to get down to the 23 for a gain of six. Yeah, and it's and it's been a lot of uh, accurate throws here from uh, Kenny Slider. As you can say, he's been throwing strikes right down the middle uh, for his receivers. He's been deadly accurate throughout the, throughout this game. Yeah, he has not he has not knuckled anything so far right now. And first, uh, excuse me, a second and four from the twenty three again in the I formation. Slider going to step back. Oh, under pressure, oh. but throws it out, and it's incomplete. Oh, that was nearly disastrous. Intended there for John Branson, but Slider got the throw away in time. Yeah, you kind of had me thinking throughout this play how a knuckleball would work for a football and how that, how that would direct the football. But uh, nonetheless, great pursuit from the defensive line to kind of force uh, Slider into a very tough throw as he got hit and led to an incompletion. Third and four, pistol set here. Slider going to throw down to the right side. Pass caught by Lodi Lou and gets the first down. Taken out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Yeah, and then another great catch from uh, Lottie Lou there. We haven't seen a lot of him throughout this game. They've uh, seen we've seen a lot of passes Ace Sharp's way, but Lottie Lou is is coming up every now and again and getting these first downs for Salt Lake to continue moving down the field. And they will continue moving down the field, but we're going to have a little bit of a pause because we are heading to the end of the third quarter. We've got three in the books. One more to go, 11 minutes remaining. 
Washington, San Jose 3, Salt Lake City 10. This is the SFL Minor League on YouTube. Back with you now for the fourth quarter. Ethan Muslin and Brett Solberg here. Fours are coming up in the chat here. First and 10 for Salt Lake at the 36-yard line. Slider going to hand it off to Lee. Oh. And again, brought down immediately in the backfield. Taken down by number 54, Phil Delphi. Yeah, and you want to talk about making yourself an impact here. Phil Delphi is what, probably one of the more unknown names on the San Jose Flight roster, but he's definitely giving uh, Salt Lake uh, running backs and, and a couple of receivers tough times here as he's been all over the field in this game. Been doing a great job, responsible for a lot of good stops here. Second and 13. Logan Lee's going to run up the middle, good for a gain of five. Going to bring up to third and eight at the 38. Yeah, that makes it a tough situation for Salt Lake here. Nonetheless, it's still a nice run from Logan Lee. We've seen him get these uh, big f uh, four, five, six, seven-yard runs uh, every now and again. It's been very successful for Salt Lake, but now it's third and eight. They need to get a first down to continue this momentum. They've got four wide with three bunch to the right side. Slider under center. Lee in the backfield. Slider's going to hand it off. Lee again wow. and taken down immediately. And look who it is. Phil Delphi making the stop. Yeah, he's just he's just been at the right place on this one. This time they decided to the run right uh, for Logan uh, for Logan Lee, and this time Delphi picks the right spot, gets past the offensive lineman, and gets right to Lee to stop him way behind the line of scrimmage and forces another punt from Salt Lake. Dusty now going to punt the ball away, and Marty Hampton will be back to return it from his own thirty, and brought down at the thirty-four. Yard line. APM Music is unrivaled music to bring your stories to life. Inspiring every production with the world's most robust and constantly refreshed music collection, state of the art technology, and world class customer service. APM Music is the official soundtrack of the Simulation Football League. To explore their library and to find the perfect tracks for your projects, visit APMMusic.com. First and 10 for San Jose on their own 34. They've got two wide receivers. Looks like slap in the backfield. Sipe going to throw down the Ooh. middle. Pass deflected. Incomplete. Knocked down again. And that was number 57, Golden Dino, again with another pass knocked down. And Sipe this time was uh, flirting dangerously close to the line of scrimmage there. It almost looked like he was ready to run with that football. This time he basically throws it right at the line. Uh, and uh, like you said, Golden Dino, he, again, he's just right there for the pass deflection. Second and 10. Sipe in the shotgun. Three wide receivers. Going to throw down to the left side. Pass was caught by Strange, but he's out of bounds when he got it. So that'll be an incomplete pass. Third and 10 now for the flight. Yeah, not a bad pass from Sipe. Uh, maybe just uh, a few inches, a little bit too far down the sidelines for Logan Strange to make that catch. But he's also got to try to tiptoe as much as possible. And I don't think he made that much of an effort to try to uh, just slide his feet uh, on the sidelines to stay in bounds. Going to bring up third and 10. San Jose in that will reset. Two and two. Sipe in the shotgun. Have some time, throws down the left side, pass batted, and incomplete. Logan Strange thought he could get a second chance on it, but Law knocked it down. Yeah, Diedrich Law was uh, pretty much ready for the interception as well. He turned around at the right time, had his hands ready to go. It just kind of bobbled down. Uh, and San Jose, the, the, the drive looked promising, but they couldn't get anything out of it. So they're just going to punt the football right back to Salt Lake. Lind will punt the ball away once again, and Grant Hickman again will be back to return. Bit of a low snap, but a good kick. Hickman will take it about the 25. Steps to the way to the 30, 35, and he's taken down at the 36-yard line. So, Salt Lake still up by 7. Got about 9.05 to go in the game. You got to think they got to try to get up two scores. Yeah, the, 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 but there's options here. They know that their defense has been playing absolutely spectacular throughout this second half and have basically stopped very critical plays uh, against San Jose. So they have a lot of different options to go with here. They can run, they can try to pass and try to get more ahead. It's, it's endless right now. 
First and 10 for Slider. Has plenty of time in the pocket. Throws down the left side. Pass complete. And a sharp gets out of bounds right at the midfield stripe. And that's good for a rustler's first down. Yeah, it's a good way to start off this drive, too. Uh, Ace Sharp getting himself open on a deep out route, another 12-yard out route. Uh, catches it down the sidelines and a little bit of a frustration push that we saw from uh, Jalen Young as he, he knew he was a little bit behind. But nonetheless, Salt Lakes gets another first down, and they're right at midfield. Great gain there. So it looked like to be about a gain of 14 on the play. First and 10 at midfield. Salt Lake City's got an offset eye. Looks like it's sharp on the right side. They'll hand it off to Lee. Lee goes up the middle, taken down for a gain of four, but they are inside San Jose territory. Yeah, and that's that's uh, a really good scenario for Salt Lake just to get into enemy territory and start breathing down the necks of San Jose and, and basically say, hey, we want to keep this football. Uh, a four-yard gain on a first down is a good start. And it keeps winding the clock down as well. They've got 8.20 to go in the game. Four wide receivers for Slider. On second and six, they'll hand it off to Lee. Lee gets up the middle, and he'll get a, get a gain of about one yard. And look who made the stop again, Phil Delphi. Yeah, and uh, again, it was just uh, a, a nice uh, recognition play from Delphi, knowing, uh, seeing that uh, Slider was going draw once again, which hasn't been successful in this game and gets to Logan Lee right on the spot. Third down and five, three wide here. It's passed down the middle. Good caught and brought down at the 35-yard line. Good catch from Fred Willows. Going to get a gain of, I think it was about a gain of nine or ten. It was a nice, uh, nice fullback curl route from Willows, uh, and uh, the secondary wasn't expecting the fullback to get the th uh, to get the target on that one. So he was left a little bit more open than the rest of the receivers. And, and another first down for Salt Lake. Shotgun set with two wide to the left on first and ten at the San Jose 35. Slider gets the snap, throws down the left, pass caught, and inbounds was a sharp. Great job to keep his toes in and gets a gain of four. Yeah, a very nice job from Ace Sharp to turn his body and still keep his feet in bounds as he was catching the ball. That's it's always tough when you're trying to turn your body, like because you don't because once you turn that body, you don't know exactly where that sideline out of bounds is going to hit. So great job of recognition uh, to get that catch. Looks like they've mirrored the play here for second and six. Slider going to fake the handoff, has some time, throws to the right, knocked away, incomplete. They did go for that same play, but James was there to make the stop. Yeah, and Brian James was ready for it, but I, I have to give a little bit of blame on Slider there. I felt like he threw the football maybe a half second too late because you could see Lottie Lou had an, uh, enough of an open territory. Um, he just threw it a little bit too late, and he didn't arc that football uh, just enough to get it to his receiver. We'll bring up third down and six. And look at that. Ace Sharp, perfect today. Eight receptions on eight targets. Been a fantastic contributor to Salt Lake's offense today. Third and six or three wide to the right, one to the left. Slider, going to hand it off to Lee. But look who's caught him again. Phil Delphi making the loss. And, he, and he's getting close to getting double-digit tackles out of this. And once again, it's the draw play that sets Salt Lake a little bit further back. And it might po it, it might possibly get them out of field goal range. Yeah, and, and it looks like they have their punting unit out once again. They're going to have to pin the football deep. Gussie's going to try to pin the football down inside the five. He's been successful two times already. Ball's going to go out of bounds, and it's going to be out of bounds at the nine. For the fans, coverage begins Sunday, October 17th with a league playoff pregame special at 2.30 p.m. Eastern before kickoff at 3.30 Eastern in South Carolina where the Charleston Predators will be welcoming the L.A. Lycans. Right. To find For the Fans channels on your devices, visit itsnextlevel.com and ftfnext.com so you don't miss a minute of the action. San Jose on an eye formation here on 1st and 10 from their own 9. Going to throw down to the right side. The pass is complete. Good catch made by Chris Unders. Good for a gain of three. 
Yeah, and uh, San Jose is going to have to start thinking about maybe uh, getting a little bit riskier here. We're dwindling down to six minutes left in the game, and they haven't made any progression when it comes to the scoreboard. So I think they need to start getting a little bit risky here. Yeah, the drives have faltered throughout the game for San Jose. they got to hope everything clicks here. Second and seven, Siphon the shotgun. He's going to screen it out to slap, but he's taken down nearly immediately, and Bogey Bar's there to stop him for a loss. Yeah, and... Uh, the, the biggest thing when it comes to a screen pass is you got to have your blockers ready. And the blockers weren't ready at all. Bogey Bar basically sifted through nobody to get to slap and stop him behind the line. Third down and eight. Four wide receivers. Slap in the backfield. we got five in the box for Salt Lake. Sip's going to toss it. Incomplete. Looks like the, looks like who, 57. Golden Dino got another hand on it. Yeah, and I I just didn't like that idea from the throw from Sype there. It was that, that catch, if it was going to be made, was going to be too short anyways. And I'd like to see a little bit more risk coming out of San Jose. And, and it just seems like they might be put, punting the football away again. They will be. They'll be punting inside their own end zone here. Aaron Land, Aaron Lind hoping to get a good kick going. Kicks it off from right about the goal line. And take it right at midfield and immediately tackled Hickman to the 47 of San Jose. So some pretty good field position after that backed up punt. Yeah, and uh, San Jose's defense does have a lot of space uh, to prevent uh, a poss po any possible points from Salt Lake here. Because at this point, probably Salt Lake is thinking if we can even get a field goal, that might even ice the game for us because that'll make it 10. And San Jose ha hasn't been clicking at all offensively right now yeah a field goal would pretty much would give them a two score lead and that would be pretty much all the insurance they need slider on first down gonna throw it pass complete looks like they're gonna get, give him no gain on the play all right uh um, that's yeah what, what happened there is uh perry got caught the football but he was trying to turn himself around on the run, and it, what happened is they just ended up running backwards and back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, so no gain on that play for Perry. Second and ten on the pistol set. Pass complete, and that will be brought down at the 46. Gain of one. They're not ma really making much progress, even though Clement got the pass. S San Jose's been doing a pretty good job stopping him from gaining any considerable yardage. Yeah, and it looks like San Jose's uh, looking to, to play the, me the mid routes more than anything else. And right now, Salt Lake is uh, running mid routes, so they're covering them pretty well, which is leading to these, this short game. I formation three wide oh. receivers. Going to be a free play here for Lee. Going to push himself up to, looks like about the 40, 40 yard line, but I think they're going to take the free three yards because they did not get the first down. Yeah, it's going to end up being a um, a third and four out of this. So you, you have to take instead of a fourth down and three, which it looked like. So uh, another play for Salt Lake to uh, to cross that first down boundary and, and kind of make uh, a, a, not a bleak situation, but not a great situation turn into something worse for San Jose. Matthew Guster was the one called for the offsides. So now to bring up third and four. Salt Lake City is going to have an offset eye. And they've got Ace Sharp on the right side. Right, they will hand it off to Lee. Lee goes to the left side, gets the oh, first down, man. gets the room. Can he get past the blocker? He cannot, but he is taken down at the 24-yard line and a new set of downs for the Rustlers. And what's been successful for Salt Lake to get those first downs has been that stretch play to the left. We've seen it about three times in third down situations. And we, we saw in the chat uh, a little bit earlier with someone asking, why are you running? But if the run is working, why not run on third down? And that's exactly what we saw here to get that key first down for the wrestlers. I'm glad you reiterated that with the accent because I was imagining Catbug asking, asking that question. <laughs> First and 10 for Salt Lake. They're going to have an offset eye. Ooh, it looks like a two tight end set as well. Five on the line for San Jose. Going to hand it off to Lee. Lee taken oh. down immediately for no gain. Brought down by number 97, Buford Reese. 
Yeah, and it looked like Reese was kind of uh, going to stumble his way down, and it might have been a pancake for one of the offensive linemen. But he en- ended up stumbling to the running back to get a tackle there. So uh, uh, nice agility from um, uh, from Buford Reese to still manage to to pad his stats a little bit here. Now with less than three minutes to go in the game, Salt Lake still up ten to three. Second down and nine. They're in the same set. Handing it off to Lee. Lee goes to the right side. And it's Delphi again with the tackle for a loss. Yeah, and Delphi has been the saving grace for this San Jose defense to stop any points uh, occurring on Salt Lake's side. This time he gets to uh, slap once again. That's probably the eighth or ninth time just on slap alone. And I would say this is at tackle 12 or 13. Uh, he's, just, he's just been amazing all throughout this game. Going to bring up a third and long from the San Jose 24. Rustlers have three wide in an I formation. Looks like there's about five on the line for San Jose. They'll bring some pressure. Lee to the middle. No, and he's and brought down. And it's Delphi again making the stop. Man, he is having a first game of a lifetime. Most SFL linebackers don't even get that many tackles. So this has just been amazing. Two minutes to go in the game. Salt Lake City 10, San Jose 3. This is the Simulation Football League's Minor League on YouTube. So with two minutes to go in the game, Bradshaw is going to try to kick a 40-yard field goal to give themselves a 10-point lead. Oh, snap is good. Kick is on the way. It is wow. no good. Jordan Bradshaw missed it wide, and that is a saving grace for San Jose. And you have to think that's just nerves coming from Jordan Bradshaw. We know his leg. He's got a 49-yard leg uh, from what we saw earlier on an earlier missed field goal. This time, he's wide right, and I think it was more so nerves because he knew that if he kicked that he kicked that football good, I think that might have iced it for Salt Lake. But now, San Jose, they're breathing life. They've got themselves a new life here from the 30-yard line of San Jose. First and 10 in a pro set. Sight going to throw to the left side. Pass complete to deep. Looks like that was Logan Strange. Yes. Brought out of bounds at the 36 for a gain of seven, and it stops the clock with a minute 53. Decent mid route, uh, mid out route for Logan Strange. Got enough uh, uh, of space between him and his defender to get a throw and a catch. And uh, the big thing here is that he got out of bounds and stopped the clock. Second down and three. San Jose in an I formation with two wide receivers. Excuse me, three wide. Sype going to throw again to the left pop, but it's deflected and incomplete. Looks like uh, looks like number 98, Justin Roberts, got a hand on it. I think that was Vincent Warren. I think I saw two nines on that uh, the back of that jersey there. But it's it basically it was an immediate Sype throw, and that's one of the downsides of being a shorter quarterback. you got to remember he's only 5'11", and Warren got to the football pretty much immediately after the ball was out of his hands. Third down and three. Sipe in the shotgun with four wide, three bunch to the left side. Going to throw down the middle. Pass oh! is caught, and it's good for a first down. Caught by Logan Strange. Brings it to the 45. Clock is ticking. Like real. 40 to go. Sipe again in the shotgun. They're set in the same formation. Going to throw again down the middle. Pass again. In. Strange again with another 11-yard catch, and it's another first down. They're, they're trusting on him right now. Minute 25 now. Sipe again in the shotgun. Throws down the middle. Pass incomplete. Looks like Salt Lake might have gotten a hand on that one to deflect it away. Yeah, and uh, this time they went with Delano instead of Logan Strange, which the first catch, absolute highlight reel, jumping one-handed catch. Just amazing. The top 10 play for the first week, I, I would say, on that one. Uh, second catch was a nice catch to get another first down. This time they went with Delano, and it just kind of bobbled out of his hands. It does stop the clock, though. Minute 22 to go. Four wide for San Jose. Three on the right side. Sight. Throwing down the middle. Pass nice. complete. Great catch by DJ Bandit. Takes it to the 30. They're in Salt Lake territory. The clock is ticking. Minute and 10 to go. Sight on first and 10. Low snap out of the shotgun. Throws down the middle. Pass Ooh. knocked away. Incomplete. Intended there for number 81, Marty Hampton, but he couldn't get his hands on it. 
Yeah, and there and uh, San Jose is cruising for the first time in this uh, since the first uh, drive that they had in this game, actually, and they're getting key first downs. And what's working for them right now is just the hurry up because Salt Lake is just not preparing themselves properly to, uh, for those catches, and, and they're getting key first downs, which is big. Six in the box for Salt Lake here on second and ten. Sipe gonna throw to the right side. Pass complete to Delano. He's got some room, and he'll get out of bounds. At the 10 yard line, first and goal effectively for the San Jose flight. And now San Jose is cooking here. Delano gets himself a nice out route. We've seen a lot of slants uh, occur on this hurry up, uh, this two minute drill from San Jose. So they kind of change it up here with an out route. Uh, uh, Delano gets a nice catch and he just kind of toes his way down the sideline to get even more yardage. And, and like you said, it's essentially first and goal in this situation because the first down line is at the SFLM chin hair line, if I could say it. First and 10 now in the pro set for the flight. Sipe under center. Going to take the snap. Steps back. Has time. Throws to the end zone. Oh. And complete. Bogey Barr had his hands on it but couldn't take it in. Yeah, and San Jose is going for broke on that play. Uh, the uh, defenders for uh, Salt Lake, both the secondaries and linebackers, kind of uh, pinned themselves deep to kind of prevent any uh, open receivers. And uh, it looked like uh, a receiver got a little bit open, just enough for Sype to throw it. But again, Bogey Barr has done great with his deflections as well. Second and 10, Sype going to throw to the right side. Pass deflected Ooh. off the hands of Delano and incomplete. Oh, he had his hands on it, but just couldn't pull it in. 51 yeah, seconds looked, now remaining. It looked like it went off his uh, his wrist. It looked to be his left wrist there. Uh, just uh, unfortunate placing of his hands to not grab that catch he, as he was kind of uh, diving himself down uh, from behind to see if he can kind of uh, twinkle his toes and get a sideline catch, but an incomplete pass. Third down and effectively goal for San Jose. Sipe in the shotgun. Low snap. Going to throw to the middle. Pass incomplete. Intended there for Gary Walters, but could not get the hands on it. Now it's fourth and ten. What do you do here? You got? You think you go for the touchdown? Well, you need to at this point, and with the field position that you have, I think you'll be fine if you don't convert on this fourth down. You could say that you, you went guns blazing and tried to tie this game, so I, I don't think there's any other choice than to go for it. And that is what they're going to do. Sipe is in the shotgun. Three bunch to the right on fourth and ten. Effectively goal to go. Sipe has some time. Throws down the right side. It's incomplete. That'll be a turnover on downs and a great knockaway by Diedrich Law. Yeah, and that was the big thing here. It, Sipe was looking for, uh, looked to be uh, 86 on that one, looking for the for the deep catch on the corner of the end zone. But Law chose the right, uh, the right receiver to defend. And he manages to get his hands on the football, causing a turnover on downs. And that might be ball game for San, uh, for Salt Lake. Yeah, uh, San Jose only has two timeouts. Uh, Salt Lake is in victory formation. Looks like, and with the amount of time they've got left, I think that might you might be right. I think this might be ball game. I think they might get. Let's see here. The second timeout is going to put them on third down. And yeah, it's it's going to be awfully close. Uh, the, if uh, San Jose is going to get the ball back, there's not going to be a whole heck of a lot of time left. If they get the ball back, it would have to be on a punt return touchdown. That would be the only way that they could do anything with this. They're going to give him a loss of two. They're going to knock it back another two feet. They're going to not have another timeout. No, that's and that's not going to do it. It's no. exactly 30 seconds on the clock. They're going to knock another second or two off for the third down. And that is going to do it. So Salt Lake City will go to 1-0 to start the season. San Jose will fall to 0 and 1. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna uh, another uh, result uh, for Salt Lake, ending with a seven point win against San Jose, like we saw five months ago in the SFLM Championship. They're going run, going for a bit of a run. I guess trying to knock knock a little bit more clock to make sure that they don't have to worry about hiking the ball here on fourth down so yeah with more with more play clock than game clock this is going to conclude the game 
But uh, you know what? San Jose, they, 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 if they can get their offense clicking together a little bit more, I think they could, can get some things going. But the, the, man of the, the man of the match for San Jose has got to be Bill Delphi. Yeah, and we didn't expect this from Delphi as well. We didn't really have him uh, keyed too much in our in our pregame reports or anything like that, but he basically proved us wrong. I, I believe that he had 14 tackles in this game, and he has been the bright spot for San Jose. Triple zeros on the board. Salt Lake City wins the first game of this season 10-3 over the San Jose flight. Take a look at the post-game highlights here. And as you can see there, the, the time of possession battle, very close, but that crucial turnover from Salt Lake City kind of really helped things out. Yeah, and it was just an, a, a very unfortunate uh, bobble uh, uh, of the hands to cause the interception uh, out of that. But what San Jose just didn't do for essentially all game except for that two minute drill is they couldn't get down, they couldn't get down the field as successful as they wanted to. They had enough drives to kind of get themselves maybe going a little bit, but it just wasn't enough and they couldn't res and they couldn't get any positive results out of it. You take that first drive away and they basically have scored nothing out of it. So a big credit to the uh, Salt Lake defense on this game. Player of the game honors tonight goes to Logan Lee, who had 27 attempts, 79 yards and a touchdown, along with 22 receiving yards. He was definitely a key factor in Salt Lake City's win today. Mm -hmm. That will do it for us here in Salt Lake City. Once again, the final Salt Lake City Rustlers 10, the San Jose Flight 3, but it's only week one. There are seven more to go. For Brett Solberg, I'm Ethan Muslin. We'll see you next time from the Beehive State.